Hi guys, this is Kelly once again from Bond Machines and today I'll be reviewing the Juki DIA Rotary 7. Okay, in my previous video I already reviewed the Model 5 of it, so today I'll be reviewing the Model 7 of it. It's a little bit um, similar to the, um, the 5 model, but um, just a little uh, adjustment in the mechanism of the machine. Okay, basically um, it uses um, this cam for um, design pattern you can actually see it has, it has a disc cam okay this is the disc cam all right which enters um, into the machine and I was able to get my hands on some couple of disc cam which um, you can actually um, use for different embroidery designs and I will do that in the video shortly okay I'll quickly run through the features of the machine why I sew with the machine now um, firstly this is the um, of course the stitch length regulator okay from 4 to about 0 okay and um, I already showed you this this where the disc cam goes in through now here is for the needle position the arrow for right middle and the left okay you can actually adjust it this is the red um, there's a red indicator for it here so um, arrow for right middle then left okay as you're turning it it turns the needle okay if you can see all right now also it has an automatic buttonhole okay this part here is for the buttonhole function these are the three parts i'll be doing that in the video also okay but i just want to let you know that it does buttonhole now this one here is for the uh, regulator for the straight stitch and the zigzag okay so when it's on zero here it's on the regular straight stitch but once you move this lever down and use it as a hook or support okay you're actually sewing um zigzag so um i will do that in a moment okay and also um, over here you have the double thread stand okay uh, which you can use for a twin needle um, this is the pressure for the footer okay okay now you have it now it has a side tension all right um, which um, I will show you how to thread in a moment also it uses um, the front oscillatory mechanism it uses the regular shuttle and bobbin okay I will do all that in the video and now this is for the um, feed dogs um, regulator also you have the down the middle the up okay when you when it's on down when this lever is on down the feed dogs go down and it's for when you're doing your free motion embroidery okay it makes the feed dogs to drop down and this is the middle and this is up to raise it up okay the feed dogs to raise it up all right so this one here is for the um reverse you can see the r sign here is for the reverse and this reverse um similar to that of the regular um industrial size machine now you have the bobbin winder here okay um quickly um i'll have to do a wind bobbin so that i can show um so most of my viewers they were like okay they need to see how to wind the bobbin and all these machines so i'll be doing that in the moment while i thread the machine and so all right so i already connected the bobbin uh, this is how you wind your bobbin from the thread stand down to this thing here make sure it passes under it this acts as a uh, it makes the thread to be tight so when you wind your thread and your bobbin it becomes very tight okay so when you place it down you just push it in and um you just uh, see Okay, so that's how you wind your bobbin all right guys in threading the machine is um it's easy and i'll just walk you through the process right now okay from here all right guys you pass it through this place okay there's a little um loop here you just pass it through here okay and you make sure it passes through the tension all right which is this you get so when you pass it through the tension, um, it goes there down inside. Make sure it goes inside the tension properly. You can see it goes inside the tension and it comes here inside this place, right? And hook comes through this hook, okay? And goes, I actually numbered it for my customers so you can actually get it. So from here, it now goes back inside the opening and up to this side and this place here then you thread from front to back okay it's quite easy i'll just walk you through again from here goes down through this looper here straight to the tension okay 
then enters through the hole here, through this opening here, then passes through this hook again, goes round and from the side, from here, and you tread from front to back. It uses a front um, um, mechanism, treading mechanism, so you can actually, um, the shuttle is facing front and you tread from front to back, okay? So I'll just sew some stitches now and I would um, show you how to work with the machine, okay? Okay guys, I already threaded the machine, threaded the needle, and I forgot to say it has um, a light here, so, and it's very, very bright, so I really would not want to work with it now, but for the purpose of the, I will just do the straight stitch, zigzag, and a couple of other, um, this cam I showed you earlier on, alright? So in doing the straight stitch, like I said, this has to be on zero, and I'm using stitch length four, okay, so I will just sew right now. Okay, that's the back and that's the front. So I'll just sew through again and all right, so there you have it. That's the back, that's the front. Now if, because of, I'm having a, a zigzag on um, this cam here, so I will be um, sewing um, this now, so let me just turn this lever to five. I'm using five for the purpose of this video. For the purpose of this video, so I will just turn this now to hook it on five. All right, then I'll turn the stitch length to like two, and when I sew, all right, there you have it. That's a zigzag, and you can further reduce the stitch length, the length of the zigzag, so you can more achieve a more close our tighter stitch okay now all right so there you have it a more tighter zigzag and that's it now to sew um, any of the disc cam here because the disc cam I have here they are basically decorative on the disc cam okay so um, it's quite easy you just this high flip here open and open this here and let's say I want to sew this I just put this here and close it back I'm leaving this on five then I have to turn this back to four because I'm sewing a decorative um, design okay so once I sew now It, guys that's the decorative design I just put in there so I should also um, let me just put one more so you can see okay guys another discount There you have it. That's the decorative this design I'm doing right now. So I will just walk you through how to do the buttonhole, and that will be it for the video. Now, like I said earlier, the machine has um, automatic buttonhole. So what you do is you make sure that what you have here is the regular zigzag um, this cam inside. Then you turn this to five. Then also you turn these, um, like I said, this red, um, this is a red indicator here. This is for the um, for the buttonhole. So I you know buttonhole has four sides. So I will be using the first one, which is I'll be sewing the left hand side. All right. So when I all right. So there you have it, left, and I'm sewing through the middle side. Sorry. Okay, guys. I'm um, sorry. This has to be on zero. Okay, I actually made a mistake. This has to be on zero, while um, you have the regular um, zigzags um, this cam on it. So I'll just um, sew the left left side of the buttonhole first. Then um, I'm sewing the middle. 
just turn this on this here and then you saw the um, left and the right all right okay um the settings i'll just have to do it again all right the settings this has to be on zero okay make sure you have the regular um zigzag um this cam on it and this is for the button hole okay so i'll be doing the left side and make sure your stitch length is um in between um zero and one okay i'm using that all right so when i saw right now i'm sewing the left hand side okay so that's for the left let me just do a little bit the left then i turn this to the middle all right so i just do like two then I'm sewing the right hand side and Alright, then I bring it down to this middle part and Ah, sorry, it's my buttonhole but basically that's how you sew the buttonhole the left the right and the top and the bottom all right so that's it sir thank you so much for watching my video and that is the juki um the 37 video thanks so much and god bless you